What's happening, Manchus? My name is Harsh. I'm Shreyas. And what are we doing today, Bhatia? We're doing this kick-ass potential blockbuster, Watchmen. Welcome back to Good Band Filmy. Thank you for joining us once again. We are back with another review. The first episode for Watchmen. Yes. That was just dropped by HBO. Oh, yes. And what's happening here? Uh, way too much happening. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so what we know about it, at least me personally, was Zack Snyder way back, yeah. early 2000s. I thought it was your everyday, in an alternate universe, superheroes doing their things, mostly vigilantes. Right. But just watching the movie again and again, it was, it was mind blowing. Ass. Yeah. It was brilliant. Yeah. Right. So for them to make a TV series, I was like, how can you right. better that? Because it's a very limited run in terms of the comics right. or the graphic. And novel. the comics, man, Alan Moore. How are we forgetting him? He's a legend. He is. A, I, I don't know. If legend applies to. Like <laughs> a psychopath, but he's a legend. <laughs> yeah, he's a weird. T yeah, just character. reading. Yeah, reading his Wikipedia page, he's uh, up to some stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. True. and uh, yeah, he's worked with DC for a while. Right. Uh, quit very acrimoniously. Right. Uh, he's written some crazy stuff. Uh, Batman killing Joe. We forwent it up. We forwent it up. Jesus yeah. Christ, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Right. But yeah, enough about uh, this guy. David Lindelof, he's the man of the hour. The guy who was the sh- showrunner, the primary showrunner for Lost, which yeah. was one of the most acclaimed TV series on. Television ever. Right, right. This was, and this was way back. This way, way back, right. Right. So, yeah, so uh, early signs of what we know of uh, Watchmen from the trailer, at least, right. is that uh, set in the same universe. Yeah, but aftermath. Aftermath. Of, 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 except after the comics. Yes. This is like a new story with new characters. Continuation. It, yeah. It's set in the same universe that, uh, you know, uh, Watchmen sets up. Yeah. But this is this is a completely new story right. in itself that's been created by Damon Lindelof. Yeah. And uh, Alan Moore was not too happy about it. I, I had a. There's this huge ass twist. Yeah, the post yeah. that he had to put out, yeah. David Lindelof kind of apologizing to Alan Moore, <laughs> but he was like, "You're a rebel, and as am I. So I'm gonna rebel to you, and you know, I'm gonna do this because I know you would have done this." Yeah, Alan Moore don't give a shit. <laughs> I doubt if he has a Twitter. Well, and now you're David Lindelof, and I'm really happy for this because this series has. It's got me thinking, and there's quite a lot to talk about. So let's just jump into the goods, man. Goods coming up. Starting off because this is technically set in the same universe. It's insane the world that we have going on around us. It starts Absolutely. from the same source, which is uh, the the race riots way back in the 1920s. The KKK. Yeah. Exactly the KKK, and uh, so and that's exactly how this series starts. This this episode right. starts, uh, but from there it just goes to some really crazy places. Absolutely, the world building in the series is phenomenal. Yeah. In, even though this is the first episode, this yeah. is you can see they've put so much thought into this entire universe. Yeah. They've put so much. You know, ideas yeah. here and there to right. you know make this universe come alive, right. and they've done a fantastic job. Absolutely. The production design looks phenomenal. Obviously, this being an HBO series, yeah. we've had Game of Thrones before, yeah. but this looks on par, man. This looks as cinematic as a movie. Totally. I mean, we we were just rewatching it because like we missed soundtracks, we missed like shows so of like episode Go names. Future. Yeah. So so lots of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, and also from the fact that. The Watchmen movie was out a really long time yeah. ago, and I, I, the comics came out I think in the 80s, 1987, right. something like that. So there are these bits and pieces sprayed all over that pays right. homage, like honors the original Absolute, stuff. I, I saw a guy flipping a board saying the the future is nigh, nigh, which is like a direct contrast to the yeah. end is nigh, the entire slogan there. Exactly. And those kind of small homages through the through the entire Watchmen series, yeah. the comics and the movies yes. from Zack Snyder. Yes. It was. Phenomenal to watch as a comic book fan, especially yeah, it was right. really good to watch, and especially the new characters that they've introduced. In yes, this. yes. It, it, just the first episode does a really good job of enduring them to you. Yes, I mean that's some kick-ass stuff going yeah. on. I mean, we thought Watchmen is anyway sprinkled with with enough characters. Right. Uh, we may not have our favorites. We'll get to that a little later. But uh, these new guys on the block. I mean, even visually, they're so freaking striking. Right. And some of them have already had their own personalities. Absolutely. And they've. Done their Game of Thrones season one <laughs> ending killing stuff. Going yeah, on. already, but right. So definitely lots going on, and yeah, looking Absolutely. forward to what else we have. But do we have bads? We do have a couple of bads. I mean, not per se, but maybe let's just let's get in the bads and talk about All them. Alright. Coming down to the bads, the OGs aren't here. The original OG, OG, yeah. OG, Rorschach. Obviously, Rorschach is dead, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so Rorschach is dead. Night Owl is not there. Yeah. The original, you know, Watchmen. The, yes. That, that entire Comedian, group. Obviously, etc. those yeah. guys aren't there. Yeah. But obviously, there are other vigilantes here. There are yeah. other superheroes now that are working right. in tandem with the police. Right. 
and they're kind of obviously inspired by these guys yes. and we can see like there are a lot of uh, tv show holdings and clips and things i you know trailers throughout the series yeah. where they kind of playing a homage to all yes. these you know the original watchmen Falling right yeah, yeah. night owl yeah. comedian all yes. these guys yeah. so obviously it's, it's kind of heartbreaking to not have the main ogs there right, right? Osmond Osmond is going to be back yes, obviously yes. but at the same time it's it's obviously a new story it's a fresh take yeah. it's, it's aftermath of the entire series which is back in 80s 90s Correct. this is 20 years into the future this is present yeah, day yeah, yeah. so obviously it's going to be a new cast it is but i mean as much as i like what david lindelof is doing with totally doing his own take right. and sort of using the same source material and like trying to figure out how would this continue right. if they introduce way too much he could wear off and piss off maybe some people who are so tight with right. the original stuff at the same time i love that i'm sure all of us feature roshak as one of our favorite characters absolutely from this and, and the fact that there's this whole supremacist even though like right. slightly extremist not slightly yeah, very the extremist yeah present day kkk more like yeah the fact that they're inspired by him directly and they actually right. say roshak masks right that was really cool so absolutely yeah. and the Again, this is not a bad, but I'm going to talk about this because the the series does a very good job of yeah. setting up, you know, all these political dramas and yeah. political things that are going on here and there, right? And the conflict that's causing yes. that's happening because of the right, these right things. So, but I, as bad as I really don't have too much to talk about, man. The way the show is shot, the yeah. the production design, everything yeah. looks right. top notch. The actors look they're like they're in it to win. Yes, it. yes. And that Johnson. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's dive into the film and you yes, know please. talk more about all this. Yeah, we just corrupted the vibes. <laughs> let's do this. Finally, this is where the meet is. It's filmy. You might have to sit back and this is going to be movie of yeah, time. Probably get some popcorn 20 minutes coming up. Yeah, do this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Meta. Anyways, so yeah, uh, like we said, the showrunner is David Lindelof. He is crazily inspired by Alan Moore. Absolutely. Alan Moore is a freaky character like we mentioned uh, in earlier time. He's a genius, but you know, like all geniuses are, he yeah. is eccentric. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, basically uh, where they start from is uh, Uh, yeah, obviously Alan Moore doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. And when he was working for DC and when he wrote uh, Watchmen, he basically had this in his contract that he has full control even though watchman goes out of publishing right and that basically meant that he didn't want it to be reproduced ever for tv movies more anything than, yeah more right. comics i will not continue that story and that, that was his deal exactly but also dc being the owned by wb and the yeah. powerhouse that they are uh, they screwed him over which is why he quit and that's how the movie came out right which is why he doesn't he doesn't like the, yeah he this. doesn't like the movie either right and so, he was very against this series as well yeah but funnily enough uh, the guy who worked with him for watchman i forget his name he is an advisor consultant for this oh, show oh makes sense because right. they have a very good job in establishing the world right? absolutely i think he is the illustrator something right uh, his name is greg something anyways so uh, similar sort of inspiration source uh, which is why david lindelof is running with right he's also trying to do his own thing he's being a rebel which is why right. he had that long sort of post instagram right. twitter everywhere else and uh, yeah so I mean just learning more about who these guys are and why they're doing what they're doing right. already sets you up for Watchmen and then the Absolutely. story itself is just insane. Yeah, the first episode does a good job of drawing you in, getting you latched onto these characters, all the new characters that you know they yeah. they kind of introduced right. and the the show does a very good job of you know enduring the enduring them to you to right. the audience. Right. And there's actually a lot of going on in terms of world building here. Yes. So there's a lot to take in just from the first episode itself. Yeah. So yeah, it might take like a couple of viewings for the first episode, or maybe you know a couple of episodes that you know you will get used to the world here. Yes. But yeah, it's gonna take some time. But all in all, I think Damon Lindelof has done a fantastic job of you know bringing this world alive. Totally, man. I mean, it's so weird. We always talk about rewatching movies either for yeah. certain scenes, or it was too heavy, or it was too intense, and you want to break it down further. I think this is the first time we're talking about watching. A series, yeah. yeah, a single freaking episode. Episode. Even though it's the starting, but it's still so much it's to take in. It's an hour long, though. In, you know. But still. I mean, just like we were, we were mishmashing quite a bit the right. three, four, five first, and we were like, oh my god, this has to be a podcast. Yeah. Like, just starts going crazy. Let Let's do a podcast. <laughs> I'm I'm saying let's go for a watch Watchmen podcast. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, Vikram, let's <laughs> do this. But yeah, anyways, uh, in terms of how we're talking about the world, so uh, how I think Watchmen is slightly different is they talk about very real stuff, and it right. is. a version of like social commentary and society and how like we're sort of dooming ourselves right um, and yeah like how the original thing starts from the from the race rights uh, another funny thing that we didn't particularly notice we had to actually be told this that oklahoma is 
uh, white supremacist yeah. or at least white majority. Majority, yeah. But here mm-hmm. they've shown it the other they way around. Switched it up completely, so there's yeah. a complete racial overturn now. Right, and and it's it's so weird. I think even uh, that that one simple traffic stop. Yeah. It, it's always black guys unfairly stopped and unfairly charged, yeah. unfairly arrested. Mistaken shootings. Right. Here is the other way around, right. and we didn't even notice that. Yeah. Like we were actually like had to see. It. Like, oh my god! Like this is something that's actually happening. Right. So there are so many undertones here. There's yes. so much you know political influence here, and there's yes. so much yeah. so much brewing in this entire f- first episode. This is yes. just the first episode that's yeah. out, and there's yeah. just so much brewing. The cops all have to wear masks. Yeah, that's become a big thing. They can't tell their identities to people. They can't tell people that they're cops. They yeah. or they work for the government. Right, and that's like it's it's breaking the law if you go ahead and tell someone that you right. work you work for a for the police correct yeah that's because basically the seventh cavalry with the k yeah. the roshak inspired cult yeah. group they basically hunting cops right. like they nobodies right uh, so yeah so there's some really weird stuff going on and and considering the fact that the movie starts from like the world war and why these guys were sort of used by the government and then the sort of dooming of nuclear war and tiktok and five minutes to midnight i mean just hearing tiktok with that yeah. roshak sort of video yeah I mean, just it's just the first episode, and it's already like there's so much here for original Watchmen fans, yes, for comic book fans in general, yeah. and for anyone who's new to this world yeah. but wants some to see something More, gripping, something yeah. thrilling. Yes, there's something for everybody, right. and this is just the first episode, so I'm so excited to just you know dive into the series. Right, I can't wait for all the other episodes to come out, man. Yeah, and like finally to I mean uh, yeah we can go non-stop, but I'm still I still have more stuff to say basically. Ozzy Man dies. He's one of the OGs. Oh, he's, he's back. And he's back. Jeremy Irons playing him was so freaky. Like yeah. that that scene in his mansion with his butlers and maids and. It's so weird. Like it that was weird. so messed up. But there, there's something completely off about those two. But we we'll, we we'll get into that once we find out more about more them about eventually. Them. Right. But yeah, obviously he's probably the only OG coming back apart yeah. from Manhattan who might come into play later on. Yes. Maybe. But yeah. right now Osman Osman Dai is going to be back, and yeah. I'm I'm really happy for that, man. Yeah. So I think uh, yeah, way too much to take in. I'm Absolutely. definitely going to watch this again. I'm I need to see this again for sure. There's just so so much to take in from the first episode. So, like, we we would definitely definitely recommend the series to you. Do check. Check it out if you're a fan of comic books, if you're a fan of Alan Moore's work, if you're a fan of David Lindelof's work, yeah. if you're a fan of Watchmen, if you're not a fan of any of these, if you're a fan of just good television, yeah. there's something for you here. Yes. Watch this yeah. and yeah, keep track. We'll be back with more. Right. This is, I think, this is we wrap this up, recommending yeah. this. And like, share, subscribe as usual, guys, and be back for more. Must watch TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Ooh. TikTok.